Sport coaching in PE Oxford Brooks is all about taking theory, learning theory, and applying it to a physical context. So sports coaching and physical education is a lot more than just coaching. You've got the whole sports psychology, sociology, physiology. We've got an obesity crisis, a dropout rate after school that's significant. People aren't doing sport and physical activity and they aren't doing it for a number of reasons. Maybe they've got jobs, they've got families, they get into the daily grind. Teachers aren't, aren't capturing them. So we've got all these different things that are starting to happen. And what we think really passionately is that academic practitioners, so people that have done a degree, that understand that context, that are skilled in the way that they might teach and coach are, are more ready, more able to help with those different issues. You know, I get students coming in my office going, I've got this drill, I've tried this practice, you know, what do you think? Or oh, you've read this paper, it doesn't really make sense with that. So we try and create this culture of a body of students who are just pushing around pedagogy to really understand it. I'm never putting things down, always reading. We send each other journal articles and say, have a look at that, arguments on Twitter and all sorts. I don't think there's anything in coaching that you can't improve. Okay. All right then, let's go. The types of jobs that our students are going into really vary broadly. A lot of them go and coach and teach, but significant numbers work in sports development, within policy. We have staff with that expertise that are currently coaching, or currently sports scientists, or currently performance analysts. Staff are absolutely fantastic, and we spend so much time with them. You know, you build up that relationship. Some of our best students can challenge traditional ideologies. They can take a particular idea and say, OK, I like that, but actually that, that's not relevant for my context and those, those are the great coaches. So you could be a coach and not come to university and go through your governing body awards but you wouldn't gain the theoretical understanding that, that allows you to unpick your practice on, on a higher level. Applying the theory to the, the actual practical coaching is, is something I didn't really think about before. It might be, for example, that we understand gender better. It's no good just understanding that men and women are, are different. How are those identities formed? How do, we, how do we kind of understand masculinity and femininity? What does that mean for my teaching practice? We've got the swimming pool, the squash courts, the gym up here, and um, we've got our sports hall. We've got a climbing wall, we've got a number of labs where students will pursue physiological and psychological aspects of the course. Brand new full length floodlit 3G, which is basically our new classroom. Strength and conditioning facility, um, um, and we've got a golf course. It's absolutely essential that our students get placement opportunities. Teaching in state schools, to coaching in, in private schools, to working in clubs. They might work with a sports team and do performance analysis. They might be involved in strength and conditioning and physical fitness and testing of teams. Others have gone off to America. I know someone that's done a year abroad in Australia. So you can pretty much go into most sports jobs from this degree. As long as you pick the right pathway for you and one that you enjoy, then you'll end up where you want to be. 